On March 31st, 2012, Kobe and the Lakers hosted the Hornets. The Hornets had the worst record in the Western Conference at the time and had only eight guys available to play that night. It was supposed to be an easy game for LA. In the, Western Conference. the game was low scoring and a bit choppy. Kobe missed his first shot and his second, third, fourth, and fifth, and all of his first 15 shots. Kobe still hasn't scored. Setting a new personal record for inaccuracy. The game came down to the wire. And with 56 seconds left, they've got 22 in the shot clock. Kobe was 2 for 20 at this point and had missed all seven of his three-point attempts. You know where this is going, don't you? Unfazed by the bad shooting night and by the defender's hand in his face, Kobe rose up with complete confidence and hit the game winner from beyond the arc. All by himself. Kobe now isolated on Jarrett Jack for the lead! Yes! Lakers win by three. One of the reasons I love sports so much is because they can teach us so much about life. The principles we apply to be successful in sports are directly applicable to being successful in life in general. Preparation, discipline, focus, perseverance, intensity, and having fun are crucial for athletes to succeed in sports and for everyone to succeed in life. And the principle that Kobe really lived out that night against the Hornets is one that I think we can all benefit greatly from putting into practice. The next play mentality. Kobe, he hits it when it matters most. Duke University and Olympic men's basketball coach Mike Krzyzewski, who has the most wins in NCAA history by far, is known for teaching this philosophy. He often yells out, next play immediately after an unsuccessful play to prevent his players from dwelling on mistakes. When in sports or in life we focus on mistakes, we get upset. We experience negative emotions, which in turn decreases our sense of competence and reduces our confidence. We start doubting ourselves, which makes us more prone to mistakes. We get stuck. And as if caught in quicksand, we begin to sink and it starts to drain the fun out of sports and out of life. The next play mentality is a mindset based on letting the past go immediately. As Coach K said, to waste time lamenting a mistake or celebrating a success is distracting and can leave you and your team unprepared for what you are about to face. It robs you of the ability to do your best at that moment and to give your full concentration. The next play mentality is about staying intensely present and using your energy for the opportunities that lie before you. The fourth quarter is starting, you haven't scored yet. I mean, what, what is Kobe Bryant thinking right now? This is pretty funny. <laughs> really? Yeah, 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 it's entertaining to me. I mean, it's, it's a challenge, right? So you can't do anything about it. You can't really hang your head about it. You just relax. You have to relax and you, you can't be out there taking yourself too seriously in those situations. You wind up forcing things. You just gotta relax and just go out there and do what you do. Now this doesn't mean we can't look backward and learn from mistakes. Athletes do watch film. There's always room for improvement in how we conduct ourselves. So it makes sense to review our lives and learn from past mistakes, but the best time for that is during a designated time for conscious reflection. When the pressure to perform has been temporarily lifted, not during game time. And the way to examine our poor performance without it undermining our confidence is to learn a specific lesson from it and move forward with even greater confidence to shoot another shot, to live another day with a lightness to your step and a freshness to your confidence for now you know more. The Lakers would have lost to the Hornets that night if Kobe didn't have the next play mentality. So even if you've got a metaphorical shooting percentage of just 10% right now, if you feel like you've been off, missing and missing and missing, let it go. Relax, be patient, and keep shooting. If you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe.